Okay. All right. This is we play games. Sorry, I I uh, I, I I screwed up. I I forgot to uh, turn my mic back on after I turned off the a the AC. I I, I uh, I'm not the best YouTuber in the universe. I'm I'm pretty bad at that too. All right. Uh, well, <laughs> welcome to we play games. This is Walker. This is Vicky Three. I think I was talking about um like why I don't like the colony the colonialism path, and it's basically just what we're seeing right here. Like if we had gone, so remember that in order to get to working on national militia, we had to take mandatory service. That's a research. Conversely, in order to start colonialism, we would have needed to take col colonization first. That's a research. So as I just played more and more of these openings, I realized that more and more frequently, you just you honestly cannot take. Um, Hokkaido and Sakhalin, you just don't get them. Like, Russia just gets them way too often on this patch to even be worth trying to fight them uh, over it with, with colonization. And colonization is not nearly, not nearly as good. Uh, like, colonization professional army is not nearly as good as being able to go National Guard and um, a national militia. It's just, it's going to, it's very good. It's very, very good. It significantly curtails the strength of your military, which wh while they are... Um, our, our buddies with the shogunate while they still have that bakufu ideology thing you you want to be their enemy you do um i apologize again for for just screwing that up but i'm not going back to record stuff like i got i got i got stuff to do i got stuff to do and if you and if that drives you crazy then you're probably not subscribing to this channel <laughs> I, I, it's just the way it is if this is the only episode you're watching Get rid of taxation capacity. That mean that means absolutely nothing when you have a bunch of peasants. When you have an actual good economy, that's a really important thing to keep in mind. But if you just have a bunch of peasants, that number means literally nothing, and just is it's just just it's just it's just distraction. It's gonna make you think that you're doing things that are bad when in fact you're doing things that are rad. <laughs> like don't be afraid to tax people. It's okay. You can you can tax people. Taxing people is usually pretty good. Because when you tax people, you take away their money, and then when you take away their money, they just they can't fight you as easily, and that's usually pretty good. I think I think that that is I think that's uncontroversial. I don't know. I, like if it is, then I I don't know. I, like I don't want to fight with you. Um, that's not that's not entirely what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to just talk about Vicky Three as much as humanly possible, and see if by just like vomiting videos onto the internet of me just playing video games and talking because i was gonna play this game anyway um <laughs> ah, walker you just like the the things that you do the things that you do i like i do i i, I if you haven't i don't know i could have i could have muted that one too <laughs> You, if you haven't listened to, to my short story about um, Paul Mahonic, I'm going to do a Crusader Kings 3, um, like, horror Halloween spooky muguki thing, and that's going to be really fun. Um, so go check that out when it, whenever the After the End fan fork, uh, I, I might just do it on CK2, that's the one I'm more familiar with, but... In CK3, there, uh, you know what? I'll say this for a different video. I don't want to waste your time. If you're here to watch Kome, I apologize. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna plug stuff you don't care about. But this is what I'm talking about. Just like, just be friends with Russia and give them Hokkaido, because you really, I, I would still be passing it. If I had, if I had gone for colonization, I would still literally be passing it right now, because I would need to get a research first and then start working on it. So, like, I just, I wouldn't mess around with colonization. I think it's way too much RNG, and I think it's not good enough. I think it's I think it's a lot weaker than the more reliable path that I'm showing you now. All right, so we got oh right, 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 right. Walker, you God damn, jeez, God, Walker, like <laughs> you, you, it's just awful at this. So so in order to jumpstart the production of tools here, I need I do need to have them going to something, and so by switching these over to using saws, they're going to increase the demand for tools. And that's going to make it so that tool starts getting built faster. And now I can move the road maintenance back. And I'm going to basically remember to do it on time. Maybe a couple of weeks late, but that's all right. A couple of weeks, I'm not going to get too bent out of shape about that. National Militia. All right, so Buddhist monks. Oh, no, our friend died. But but you know what? I'm going to show you that you don't even necessarily have to reroll all of the time. Because um, despite the fact that, that our... Um, I don't know. He's really good. I I don't want to I don't want to like say yeah, you don't need to keep him um and then have it turn out that in fact you kind of need to. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to 
uh reload that but i think that f i think that 50 popularity is probably enough you really want there to be at least 100 difference between the popularities of the leader of the the religious monks oh well all right so we could we let's check actually what's your it's that's 50 i don't know well yeah, we'll try it we'll try it i like doing things for science all right so we got national militia anyway we got it last time um but but uh we we in exchange we've we've transformed this dude but now he's a royalist which just means that they're going to be happier which just means that they're going to give us their bonus more more frequently it's just going to be good for everybody and so now we've done national militia so now we can do some uh some reorganization so we're gonna we're gonna reorganize the government into this we're gonna do just buddhist monks and um probably peasants yeah we'll do buddhist monks and peasants and then we will go in here and then we need to recoup some authority so we can take off the uh the agriculture industry here i don't think you need that and then we can just reduce the whatever thing we, we got here is it going to be t it might be no we actually done a good job keeping demand up for t by by just removing the one in kansai you can do that too that's a, a really good way to just like save yourself a lot of money and, and do do good stuff is doing that but we do need to remove from something, and I th I think right now I'm probably inclined to take off of um, luxury clothes. Nah, now nah, we'll do we'll do tobacco because that's that's a thing that's consumed more by lower class pops, and we want to make sure that they get a bunch of money. That's what we're that's what we're gonna be trying to do. We want to give them money so that way they can have more power. Um, because we wanna we wanna be we wanna be doing some um some reorganization here. We're also going to go in here and we're, we are going to fire our army. Um, I don't know if you need to fire literally 100% of it, but I am going to fire almost all of it. Uh, that This might be dangerous. You might want to prune it along the way. That might not be a bad idea. But for science, I like to do a lot of things for science. I like to blame science for my own laziness. That's really, that's really the other thing that this is all about. I like to blame science for my own laziness. Um, but uh, what what was I doing? I was working on uh, serfdom, so we've got a little alliance here between uh, peasants and the uh, and the religious. Uh, once we get once we get a, a university up and going, which we are working on academia right now, then you can switch in intelligentsia instead of peasants. But you have to have a powerful Buddhist monks here to add legitimacy. You also probably want to reduce your taxes, um, just because you are going to need some legitimacy in in order to get the the serfdom rolls on a reasonable schedule and in fact i'm going to recommend that you even go down to low taxes i would not go to very low taxes very low taxes is for people who don't care about building things and you absolutely care about building things but going down to low taxes that's okay that's fine you can do that i would also probably because right now you're not powering up um you're powering up bureaucrats but you're also powering up uh, aristocrats because they're part of your your army too you can keep military wages really high. You can do that. Um, intelligentsia and they're at nine. Yeah, we'll keep we'll keep government wages at high. That'll be fine. Okay, that's a little reorganization. So now we've got a lot of a lot of extra money floating around, and this is something that depending on the aggression levels of your AI and the relationships that you've built with them. So like you know if you played the game better than i did and actually built and, and actually utilized the the interest that we set over there instead of just ignoring it and then forgetting about it and then, <laughs> and then then looking like an idiot um you 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 can you can improve relations with with the uk and russia to avoid an invasion but in the event that they're stupid enough to invade you i want you to understand how huge your army is like they can't they're not going to be able to get they're not going to be able to get through they're not going to be able to get through and you're japan so they're not really going to be able to to blockade you so if if someone's dumb enough to attack you you just just conscript everybody it works it's fine it's really all you need um yeah i kept the size i'll keep a size five in kansai i'll keep a size five in kansai we'll probably we'll probably build it back up a little bit as as we as we continue to move around but i think that's okay i think that's a good spot so now we're gonna now we're gonna go through and we're gonna see all right the shogunate we're currently working on um serfdom abolished yeah let's do serfdom abolished so we're currently working on serfdom abolished so what that means is we're gonna need to increase the power and authority of the the things that are associated with that and reduce the power and authority of the people who are opposed to that so i'm gonna promote 
all of my um basically everyone who is not a shogunate character and then the shogunate they're at minus two right now i'm just gonna fire some of them that's that's all right i don't need you and then we can even recruit some if there are any better ones you're usually going to be associated with the the factions that have the the high clout right now but as we remove as we remove power from the shogunate then there will be more and more uh generals of, of different different political alignments running around this this might seem a little cheesy maybe it is um but i i think it is a powerful tool that you have access to and so i would encourage you to use it if you feel like it, it's it's appropriate and i actually do think that it's like on brand right because here we are just like going through and distributing money and power and authority to the people who we want to be powerful like that's okay that's exactly how some of these autocratic governments worked right that's 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 lore accurate that's a hundred percent lore accurate that is that is exactly how humans work and so that's what we're doing we're just we're just playing games how humans work and when you play games how humans work instead of how you want them to work your government's usually a little stronger like usually this one is going to be a little trickier again because i'm just i'm trying not to to have to reroll like pretty much ever i gave up on keeping um oshio alive but if you keep if you can keep him alive he's in he's He's an absolute powerhouse, and if you don't understand why, go watch one of the other videos. I'm not, I'm not keeping him alive here for science, just to see is is a 50 popularity character good enough instead of 125. I don't know. I don't. I have no idea. But that's why I want to try. I think it's a a really fun and interesting experiment. That's that's what we're doing here. That is what we are doing here. Oh right, we've got um we've got tools moving around. Because we got tools moving around. We can go ahead and do tool stuff. I like doing tool stuff after you got tools. Because otherwise, why are you doing tool stuff? Why are you doing the tool stuff? Why are you doing the tool stuff? Because you can't even do the tool stuff without tools. Dumb. Uh, uh, oh, right. We're at two. All right. Cool. So we can go ahead and just switch these guys over to pig iron tools. And that will increase demand for pig iron. And then they will start hiring people, and they will start producing iron, and that'll feed back into the tools. It, it's good. It's good. Th that loops. That loops good. You're gonna have to just trust me that that loop. That one's a good one. That's a good loop. Yep. There it is. There it is. There it is. Chat. We could have. We could have tried and failed to work on that, but we're here. We are. It's 1839. We're working on serfdom abolished. The roll is going to be pretty slow. It's August 1840. Um, so that means it's going to be a little over a year and a half each time. But the the little over a year and a half each time is a little misleading because we are going to be modifying that as the game goes. And that's going to be good. I think I think that's going to be good. Occasionally, things like this don't work. And then you have to, like, find a different thing. Like, if we fail on the first serfdom roll, I'll probably move over to doing, like, uh, appointed bureaucrats or something like that. Because we might be able to get intelligentsia in if we get academia up. Um, and that would be fine too. A Buddhist monk's intelligentsia aligned uh, group can get very powerful very quickly because you can just hire a whole bunch of uh, uh, academics and then encourage all of the aristocrats to move over to the intelligentsia. You can get very strong very very quickly by, by draining them. Um, but right now we don't have an, a, a university up and I'm not gonna wait. I want I want to start rolling on this because if, if you can, you can get lucky, right you can absolutely get lucky. Because we have no one trying to stop it right now, really. Because um, everyone, everyone just, everyone's just cool with this, and and you can do it. I promise you can do it. I'm not, I'm not making these videos to make anybody's life harder. I'm making these videos to, to, to really just monetize me talking about video games until my until my voice gives out. That's that's really all I'm doing. That's really all I'm doing. And if if you if you support that that like just narcissistic laziness then how dare you shame on you why would you ever subscribe to this moron like what is wrong with you what is wrong with you why would you do this i want if you sub if you're subscribing to this i think you need to tell me why because i think that it's really never going to get any better and and i think that like that's crazy you can't you cannot support this hey look at that that's a academia <laughs> okay bye